Hey everybody, we're Keaton handicapping Thoroughbred Racing on Sunday afternoon, June the 26th, and this is my Equibase Winter Circle East Coast Racing Report. Let's go to beautiful Belmont Park first for their Race 9 feature, 5.17 p.m. Eastern Post Time. This is the Mike Lee Stakes, 7 furlongs on the dirt, 3 year rolls race for $100,000. Contenders number four, Bug Juice, number one, Darren's Dilemma, number five, Pin Number, and number three, Bound by Humor. For you folks who enjoy a little thoroughbred racing history to accompany your handicapping efforts today, the Mike Lee Handicap is named in honor of the former sports editor of the Long Island Press for some 40 years. Lee was well known among his colleagues as an outstanding sports writer and humanitarian and by his community for his services. As well as being a thoroughbred racing enthusiast, he also served as the first president of the United States Harness Writers Association and president of the Brooklyn chapter of the Baseball Writers Association as well. In his latter years, he also served as a member of the New York State Racing and Wagering Board. Here in the 32nd renewal of the stakes event, number four, Bug Juice, exceptional early speed abilities, complement uh, for today's sprint at the specialized distance of seven furlongs on the dirt has hit the board in four of his last five, winning three times in this recent streak of racing consistency. Number one, Darren's Dilemma, both the overall speed and pace profile later has won three of his last four, including a, a pair of power run wins found in his last start as well as in his fourth race back. Race nine summary. Number four, Bug Juice, tops my contenders list, which also includes number one, Darren's Dilemma, number five, Pin Number, and number three, Bound by Humor, 4153, the ninth from Belmont Park, the $100,000 Mike Lee Stakes. Churchill Downs, race four, 2.19 p.m. Eastern Post Time on Sunday afternoon. Mile test on the turf, Phillies and Mares, three years old, and up racing for an optional claiming purse of... $68,200. Contenders number three, Persuading. Number one, Sweetest Song. Number two, Silent Candy. And number six, Riviera Chick. Number three, Persuading, qualifies as a Trackmaster Plus Power Pony, drops in class by five units. It's both the overall speed and pace profile leader in this optional claiming field today. Racing at the mile distance on the turf has posted a quartet of power run board hits in her last five starts. Number one, Swedish Song has produced power run performances in four straight starts, hitting the board in a pair, including a power run win. Fourth race back. Race four summary, number three, Persuading, tops my contenders list, which also includes number one, Swedish Song, number two, Silent Candy, and number six, Riviera Chick, three, one, two, six in the fourth run, the Churchill Downs. Bonus long shots. Let's go to Woodbine first. Here in the race five. Here in the two hundred thousand dollar Grade Two Highlander Stakes. Number one, Silver Timber, drops in class by seven units. The overall speed leader in this field, sprinting at six furlongs on the turf. Canterbury Park Race Eight. The speed leaders in this claiming field are shared by a pair of bombs. Number one, Don't Bluff, fifteen to one, and number nine, Foreigner, ten to one. So handicapping from both Belmont and Churchill Downs on a Sunday afternoon. Rick Needham for the Equibase Winter Circle reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over it.